Good day. Uh, uh, once again, this is uh, Ishala Ade uh, Deji Mike, and I welcome you all once again to Success Enlightenment. All right, uh, we are still on our probability distribution now. We've been trying to look at a set of questions uh, to solve our probability distribution, and here is a further continuation of that. Uh, this will be the seventh problem we'll be looking at on what on the probability distribution. All right, if this is your first time you're coming across my channel or you've been here. But you are here to subscribe to my channel, please. Uh today uh, it's it's another it's another it's another good day. So all right, um do be the favor of subscribing to the channel and turn on your notification bell. All right. Um feel free to engage me uh comments on the video. Um much much appreciate every single comment you guys give me at the end. If there's any question I try and solve or something I try and split and you don't get it, all right. Feel free to contact me. I'll be more than happy to explain it personally. Back to you with that being said let's get right to the day today we are going to be solving another problem on probability distribution all right what problem will we be looking at today on probability distribution? we said our 50 percent of economics undergraduate student take post 101 right 50 percent of economics undergraduate student takes post 101 right 20 students are choosing at random now if you have 50 percent that's probability of size, right? This is a binomial distribution, all right? Because the outcome is, uh, is it a uh, uh, one person, two person? So it's a, it's a what? It's a discrete distribution, and um, with the way the question is specified, it's a what? It's a binomial distribution, right? You don't have an average here, right? You don't have an average here. So fifty percent of or that fifty percent is a what? Is the probability? So which is the probability of success will be what? One over two. And if your probability of success is one over two, definitely your probability of failure will be all one over two because probability of failure is one minus probability of a success. Now we have to find the probability that exactly 10 students of the choosing 20 take post one one. That's probability of taking 10 out of the 20. And also we have to find the probability that not up to five students of the selected 20 take a post one one, not up to five students. Of the set twenty, that is probability of no no student no student take it probability of just one probability of two student probability of three student and probability of four student add that together that's probability of not up to five students of the selected take post one one and lastly we have to calculate the mean variance range and the standard the deviation of this binomial distribution that is we are trying to we are to calculate the word dimension of what variability or dispersion from this word binomial this way this is a very simple and straightforward question don't forget again feel free to contact me if there's anything i say you don't understand and subscribe to my youtube channel all right thank you let's get to the questions let's solve this and all right so we'll be going ahead with solving the first question all right uh um, solving the first question uh we've already adapted this question so we're just going to uh write it down in the mathematical notation all right that's what we'll be doing from here. Now, the probability of success is shared generated by plus P. So, P equals to what? 0 0.5 or 1 over 2. And Q will be what? 1 minus P, which is the same thing as 1 minus 0 0.5, which is also equals to what? 0 0.5. All right. Now, 50% uh, of the other guy, student students uh, take post 101 and 20 students are choosing at random, which is their sample size is what is 20. Our sample size is 20. Now, find probability that exactly 10 students of the choosing 20 takes post 101. So, we are only find the probability for what 10 students out of the what 20. So, our S here is what is 20. So, this is still a binomial uh, probability distribution question, right? So we already know the formula we are using, I've already interpreted it. We found the all the elements from our formula is, have, has already been found. So from here, what we do is what we write, uh, we find exactly what we are looking for. P of S equals to what? Equals to 10. Alright. This will be what? 20 combination what? 10. Probability of success is what? Is 0 0.5 raised to power 10 which is the number of uh, selected sample and probability of failure is also what 0 0.5 
raise power what 20 minus 10 this power 20 minus 10 so now from here we find what is 20 combination 10 first 20 combination 10. 20 combination 10 will be what 20 combination 10 right this will be 20 factorial all over 20 minus 10 factorial 10 factorial all right this will now be this will now be equal to 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial all divided by 10, 20 minus 10 that will be what 10 factorial times other 10 factorial that will be what 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so this 10 factorial we cancel this 10 factorial so all you left is what you do with your calculator you find the product of uh, 20 find product of 20 times 19 I will 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 all right so you find the product of that uh, what you have will be, what your calculator will give you will be what 6 7 0 four four two five seven two eight zero zero all right and also i divided by the product of what the 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so that will be what? 3, th 3, sorry, that will be 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0, and 0. So now you simply execute that from your calculator. That is, you divide 6, 7, 0, 4, 4, 2, 5, 7, 2, 8, 0, 0, divided by Three six two eight eight zero zero. So what you are going to have left will be when you divide that what you what you have is what is one eighty four seven fifty six. All right, uh, that's our twenty combination ten. And now that you have found twenty combination ten. So the next thing you find is what find your probability of success raised to power of uh, ten. So find your probability of success raised to power of ten. That is zero point five raised to power of what ten. All right. You use your calculator once again to execute that. So your calculator once again to execute that. You have zero point five raised to power of what of uh, ten. Okay. That will give. That will give. That will give us zero point. You have zero point zero 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 nine eight approximately. Also, you find probability of failure is power of what ten in this scenario because you have twenty minus ten. So if you give all the same thing, which is zero point zero 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 nine eight. 
So now from here, uh, from here, what we are looking for is to find our probability of 10. I will already draft out the formula, so there is no more stress, all right? So simply what we do is what? P of 10. P of 10, variable. Okay, let's write it more clearly. Let's write it more clearly. P of 10. We then, therefore, be equals to 184756 184756 times 0 0.00098 times 0 0.0098 Alright, so when you make, when you do this product what do you get right this will be 184.756 times 0 0.00098 times 0 0.00098 so what i will give us is what is 0 0.177 let's say 0 0.17 Point one seven seven rather 0 0.177. So in probably in percentage, our probability will be what 17.7%. 17 point seven percent. 17 point seven percent. Let's write out percent. That's the probability of uh, exactly 10, which is the question they they ask us to find. We have to find the probability that exactly 10 students of the choosing 20 takes post 101. So, probability that, that exactly 10 of the choosing 20 take post 101 is 0.177 or 17.7%. So, that's the, that's the solution to the first part of this uh, question. All right. Uh, the other part of this question is uh, uh, we ask what is the probability that not up to five students of the selected 20 takes post 101 what's the probability that not up to five students of is less than uh 20 take post 101 all right so basically from that uh, the probability we asked to find here is what probability of what x not up to five students that is s less than five all right probability of s less than five if you want probability of zero S equals to zero plus probability of of one of s equals to one plus probability of what s equals to two plus uh, probability of uh, plus probability of x equals to three and plus probability of what s equals to four this probability of s less than five all right this probability of s less than five so we are going to find probability of s equals to zero probability of s equals to one probability of s equals to two probability of s equals to three and probability of s equals to four and we are going to add this all together to find probability of s less than five that is not up to five students of selected 20 takes post 101 now this is uh in our these are federal cases of s we already know the probability of sources and we know the probability of uh, failure that is our p is already what 0 0.5 and our q is already known to be what 0 0.5 so with this we can find our probability of uh, zero which will be what 20 combination is zero probability of sources 0 0.5 raised power is zero probability of failure is 0 0.5 raised power 20 minus is zero uh, raised power 20 minus uh, is zero so now what's probability of 20 what's a 20 combination zero so that would be what 20 factorial all over 20 minus is zero factorial is zero factorial don't forget zero factorial is equals to one all right and this will give us what 20 factorial all over 
20 factorial. 20 minus 0 is 20. Is 0 factorial. All of this will be equals to 1. Okay? All of this will be equals to 1. Also, uh, 0 0.5 raised to the power of uh, is 0. 0 0.5 raised to the power of 0. That is going to give us uh, 1. Entry raised to the power of 0 is equals to 1. And 0 0.5 raised to the power of uh, 20. So that you are going to need your calculator. So 0 0.5 raised to the power of 20. What will that give from your from your calculator? So that is going to be 0. Point, uh, that is going to be 0. Point 0, 0. Sorry. That's going to be 0. Point 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 9, 5. Alright? This is 0 0.5 raised to the power of uh, 20. That's 0 0.5 raised to the power of 20. So now, your probability of 0 from here now, your probability of 0 from here now will then be the product of that we already know what you need to put in. So, we already calculated this. So, probability of 0 will be what? 1 times 1 times 0 0.0000095 so it's therefore equals to what 0 0.0000095 all right when my answer has so many zero like this i love to just leave it in what in standard uh, form instead of taking it to probability i love to leave them in standard form here if i convert it to standard form this will be what nine Point five times ten raised to power minus seven. Okay, this will be the what the probability of what none of the student take post one o one. But that's not what we asked to find. We have to find the probability of not up to five. So now you find the probability of zero. Now the next thing is to do is find probability of what of one. Okay, next we are going to do is find probability of uh, one. So P of 1, so probability of 1, that will be what? 20 combination 1, 0 0.5 probability of success raised to power 1, 0 0.5 probability of failure raised to power 20 minus 1, which is what? 19. So here, yeah, 20 combination 1, 20 combination 1, this is what? 20 factorial all over 20 minus 1, factorial 1 factorial this will be 20 times 19 factorial all over 19 factorial 1 factorial this cancel this 1 factorial is empty as 1 so what we have left is what is 20 so 20 combination 1 is what is a uh, 20 so now 0 0.5 is the probability of success raised to power of 1 0 0.5 Raised power of 1 is empty as what? Is 0 0.5. Our probability of failure is 0 0.5. Raised power of uh, 19. For this, you need your calculator. You need your calculator to find the uh, 0 0.5. Raised to power of 19. So you have 0 0.5. Raised to power of uh, 19. So for my calculator here, the answer is, is 0 0.5. Zero 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 one nine. So now from here, you've already find every ingredient you need to find the probability of one. So from here, p of one, you be product of what? We have twenty for the com for the combination times what? Zero point five probability of success. Times zero point zero 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 one nine of failure. So now what we do here is what we find the product of everything. You use your calculator for that. Are very very careful. Don't make mistake in addition multiplication. All right. So always use your calculator. So what we have there will be twenty times zero point five times zero point zero 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 one nine. 20 times 0 0.5 times 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So the answer here will now be what? Is 0 0.0000. 0, 0, 
zero zero one nine. Also, if my answer is like this, instead of taking it to a percentage, I love to put it in what in standard uh, form. So that would be what 1.9 times 10 raised per what minus uh, 5. All right, that's the probability of uh, 1. Okay, so now that we are finding that, so the next thing we are trying to find, we are going to find it was probability that only two of them take a pose uh, 1 or post 101. So that would be probability of uh, 2. So p of 2 p of 2 so p of 2 here will now be what 20 combination 2 0 0.5 probability of success raised power 2 0 0.5 probability of failure raised power 20 minus 2 so 20 combination 2 that will give us 20 factorial all over 20 minus 2 factorial 2 factorial all right that will be 20 factorial all over what 18 factorial 2 factorial so therefore we have 20 times 19 times 18 factorial all over 18 factorial 2 factorial is empty as 2 18 factorial counts 20 factorial so what we have left is what is 20 times 19 what we have left is what is 20 times uh, 20 times 19 that's 380 we have 380 divided by 2. Okay. If you press the calculator, 380 divided by 2 will give us what? 190. All right. We give us 190. Now that we found that part, so we have to also find what is 0 0.5. 0 0.5, a probability of success raised to power of uh, 2. So 0 0.5 raised to power of uh, 2. That would be what? 0 0.25. That's 0 0.25. Also, we are going to find the 0 0.5 raised to the power of what? 18. And that would be what? 0 0.5 raised to the power of uh, 18. That would be 0 0.000038. Alright? Now that we have found all that, so we can successfully so find probability of uh, 2 that is probability of 2 that will be what the product of everything we have found 0 0.25 times 0 0.0000038 times what do we have in our word now combination now combination our combination result in what uh 190 all right resulting 190 times uh, 190 so use your calculator so i'll put i made the product and see what you get we have 0 0.25 times 0 0.000038 times 190 so what what you, what you get with what is 0 0.00 0 1 8 so 0 0.0018 so since i have so many zero after the decimal so i love to put it in what in standard form that'll be what 1.8 times what 10 raised to the power minus 4 okay 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus uh, 4 so we find probability of uh, 2 don't forget we have to find probability of less than 5 so which we still have to find the probability of 3 and probability of uh, four so let's get right and find probability of three and probability of uh, four so p three that is three people did the uh, post 101 so this will be what 20 combination of three 0 0.5 probability of success raised power of three 0 0.5 probability of failure raised power of what 17 that is 20 minus three so now 20 combination three that would be what 20 factorial all over what 20 minus 3 factorial 3 factorial so this will be what 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 factorial all over 20 minus 3 that would be what 17 factorial 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 that would be 6 this cancel this 
So what is 20 times 19 times uh, 18 by our calculator? So 20 times 19 times 18 by my calculator is what? It's 6,840 divided by 6. And that will be what? 6,840 divided by 6. That will be 1,140. So we have 1,140. Okay? 1,140. Zero. So now that we have found this, so the next thing we have to find is what? What is our uh, priority of success raised to power three? That is, what is zero point five raised to power of uh, three? So you, you simply use your calculator with this as well. Simply use your calculator with this as well. So you have zero point five raised to power of what three? That will be what? Zero point one two. Sorry, that will be zero point one. Two five. Also, you find the zero point five raised to power of what seventeen, right? So the raised power of uh, seventeen. Sorry, a minute. Uh, zero point uh, five raised to power of what of seventeen. That would be zero point uh, zero point zero 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 seven six all right now that you have found this all you simple have to do is now find your probability of uh, theory probability of uh, theory so p3 we now have 0 0.125 times 0 0.0000076 times what is our combination figure you find again that will be um, 1,140 times 1,140. 1, so when you press all this uh, on your calculator, what does it give you? Well, what's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the result? So 0 0.125 times 0 0.000076 times 1140. That will give us what is zero point zero zero one one. All right, zero point zero zero one one. Now this I can put it in in in, in probability as what this is zero point one percent, or I can still put it in standard form. All right, by writing that this one point one times what ten raised to power what minus. 3. That's probability of 3. But that's not what we are asked to find. We have to find probability of uh, S less than uh, 5. We have to find probability of S less than 5. That's not what we are asked to find. So, we found 3. So, what is left for us to find is what? Is 4. Okay? So, what's probability of uh, uh, only 4 students take post 101? So, that's P of 4. P of 4 will now be 20 combination 4. All right, 0 0.5 probability of success raised to power 4 and 0 0.5 probability of failure raised to power 16. That is 20 minus uh, uh, 4. So now 20 combination 4, that will be 20 factorial all over 20 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. And that will be 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 factorial all over 16 factorial 4 factorial will be what 4 times 3 that's 12 times uh, 2 24 that's times 1 2 we have 24 so from here let's do our product on the uh, with the calculator what do we find when we multiply 20 by 19 multiply by 18 multiply by 17 all right don't forget the 16 factorial still factorial we take each other out so what we have is what is 116280 divided by what 24 all right divided by 24 what does that give us that that will give us what 4845 845 all right that's the result of our word, of our combination. So now we have to find the probability of success raised to power 4. 
So probability of success raised to power 4, that's 0 0.5 raised to power of uh, 4. So when you press 0 0.5 raised to power 4 on your calculator, what do you have? 0 0.5 raised to power of uh, uh, 4 on your calculator. That gives us what? Is 0. Point, is 0. 6, Three, approximately so also when you have 0 0.5 probability of failure raised to power of uh, 16 when you press that on your calculator what does that give you that would be 0 0.5 raised to power of what of uh, 16 that would be 0. Point, uh, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 1 5 1 5 now that you have found all this, what is left is for you to find your what? Your probability of uh, 4. So, probability of 4, P. Probability of 4 will then be what? 0 0.063 multiplied by 0 0.000015 multiplied by... What do you find when we are doing our what? Our, our combination, we find 4,000... 845 so multiply 4845 now we do this on our calculator and do this multiplication on our calculator what do we get on this our calculator what we are going to get is what is 0 0.063 times 0 0.000015 times 4845 4845 and that probability will then be what is 0 0.0046, which is the same thing as what 4.6 percent, 4.6 percent, or let's let's divide into what no, let's divide in it's not 4.6 percent, though that would be 0 0.0.5 percent. Approximately, we can have this as what? 0.5%, right? 0.5%, okay? Can have 0.5%. That's probability of uh, 4. Now that we have found probability of 0, we found probability of 1, we found probability of 2, we have probability of 3 and probability of 4. And we have to find what? Probability of X, probability of X less than... Uh, five all right that's what we asked to find from the question is that is that it from our question that we have to find we are from our question we have to find probability of x less than five is that it what's probability that not up to five students of the selected 20 test pool so we have probability of s less than five so to find probability of s less than five you already know that we are going to add probability of s equals to zero to probability of s equals to 1, to probability of s equals to 3, then to probability of s equals to 4. That's our way of finding probability of s less than 5. So from here now, let's do our addition. Let's do our addition. Probability of s equals to uh, 4 is 0 0.0046. Probability of x... Uh, Probability of x equals to 3. Probability of s equals to 3. That's 0 0.0011. That's 0 0.0011. 0 0.0011. 0 .0011. So what's probability of x equals to 2? Probability of s equals to 2. Probability of s equals to 2. Yeah, probability of s equals to 2 is what? 0 0.00018. 0 0.00018. That's uh, 0 0.00018. Now, what's the probability of x equals to 1? You've already calculated. You just go and check it. What do you have there? That's 0 0.00019. 0 0.00019 that's 0. Uh, 0. 0.00019 so now what's the probability of x equals to 0 what's the probability of s equals to 
0 that you've already calculated. So priority of S equals to 0 is 0 0.0000000095. So 0 0.0000095. That's probability of S equals to 0. All right? 0 0.0000095. Okay, nine five. Sorry. Now that we have the probability of s equals to zero, s equals to uh one, s equals to two, uh, s equals to three, and s equals to four. So what we simply do is what we add all these together using our calculator. We have all this graphs in our calculator. That will be 0 0.0046 plus 0 0.0011 plus 0 0.00018 plus 0 0.00019 plus, okay, plus 0 0.00000019. Five, okay, nine five, and what this will give us is what is what is zero. This will give us call me. I'm coming. This will give us zero point. Zero zero five nine. All right, zero point zero five nine. So the probability of s less than five, that is not up to five, did plus one oh one is what is zero point six percent approximately. Approximately zero point six percent. All right, this is zero point six percent. And by this, we come to the end of this. Uh, uh so other part of this question this question still have more one thing to calculate all right let's just uh, let's master this and, and we can get back the last part of this question is to calculate the mean variance range and standard deviation of this uh binomial distribution all right if you know how you calculate the mean all right so we go with the mean uh in a binomial distribution the mean is usually represented by this greek sign mu and it's calculated by n times probability of success. Here, our n is 20, and our probability of success is 0 0.5. So here, our mean is going to be what? 10. All right? It's as simple as that. Also, we are asked to find uh, our standard deviation and our variance. All right? Let's go first with our variance. Our variance is what? Is sigma square. And our sigma square is what? n times probability of success times probability of uh, failure. All right, and that is going to be what 20 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 and that's going to be 10 times 0 .5. that's going to be 5 all right and the same way our standard deviation that's sigma itself and that's going to be square root of uh, the variance which is what square root of n p and q and that's going to be what square root of uh, 5 okay that's going to be square root of five. You can put your calculator and get what and find what that gives you. Uh, our square root of five is you can find that using your calculator. Let me press my calculator here and what will square root of five be from my calculator? Square root of five from my calculator is going to be two point uh, two point two four. Sorry, two point two four. Okay. 2.24 so now what we are left to find is to find our range all right to find our range range will be what maximum value of the distribution minus what the minimum value of the distribution all right the mass value of the distribution is calculated with the formula mu plus what two sigma all right plus two sigma you already find your mean and you already find your sigma all right your mean from your calculation is what is 10 so therefore we have 10 
plus 2 into 2.24. So therefore, our maximum value will be what? 10 plus 4.48. And this will give us what? 14.48. That's maximum value of the what? Of the distribution. So now, if I want to find the word, the minimum, all right? The minimum. The minimum is a uh, mean. That's got to what? Your mu, which is your mean, minus 2 sigma, 2 times standard deviation. So your mean is 10. A standard deviation is what? Is 2.24. Sorry, 2.24. So therefore, our minimum will be what? 10 minus 4.48. And that will give us what? 5.02. That will give us 5.02. So now from here we can find our range. Our range will then be range will then be what? 14.48 minus 5.02. So when you press your calculator, what is 14. Point, uh, Four eight. What is fourteen point four eight minus five point? Uh, sorry, uh, ten minus four point four eight is 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 a uh, is five point five two. This five point uh, five two. This five point five two. Right. This is wrong. This is this is five point uh, five two. So what you have here is what five point five two. That's what you have there. All right, five point five two. Five point five not five point zero two is five point five two. Okay. So now what you are doing is what you're having fourteen point four eight minus five point five two. So what is fourteen point uh, fourteen point four eight? minus 5.52 right so the answer will be what 8.96 and that is the range of this uh, distribution always use your calculator to confirm the answer that you have all right sometimes i made my calculation off it and sometimes i'm not always correct all right so i uh, you use your calculator to confirm everything you just need to understand that at the principle the procedures all right so don't just sit there and be studying calculations without having your calculator with you all right and in international situation try as much as possible not to attempt to use your brain to even do two plus two press it on your calculator and make sure your calculator is in degree and not in radius so that you won't be you won't fall victim of making unnecessary mistakes so with this we come to the end of this uh, of this video you have successfully be able to solve the seventh problem on this channel. We go further and solve some other set of problem as we bring solving of binomial distribution into into perfection. All right. Thank you. Please subscribe. See you. See you.